Hello everybody and welcome back to the Best Pals Podcast. This is the finale of the Millennial Kids Show Tournament. We have gone through Nickelodeon, we've gone through Disney Channel, we've gone through Cartoon Network, we've done Toonami, Fox Kids, WB Kids, there's probably more in there somewhere, and we've come down to our final four. We've decided that Hey Arnold is the best Nickelodeon show, that Boy Meets World is the best Disney show, that Ed and Eddie is the best Cartoon Network show, and Batman the Animated Series is the best Fox Kids show. And now it is time for these four finalists to face off and figure out which is the all-time best Millennial Kids TV show. I am your host, Ben Ritchie. I am here with Bump in the Night, Jacob. Boo. <laughs> uh, burrito wrapped Kate. Hi. And still looking like a ninja Jamie. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Ninja. Hi. Hi. All right, so our first round is actually going to be very difficult for me because it is Hey Arnold versus Boy Meets World, Jake. Ooh. Yeah, those are two of my all-time favorite shows, yeah. legitimately. Uh, oh, dear God. <laughs> um, they both kind of did the same thing with uh, a lot of, like, they, they, they hit a lot on the serious notes, but it True. wasn't constantly that way like they also had a lot of like comic relief so i enjoyed both of them for that aspect and i think like you said before boy meets world you start off with as a kid and you grow up watching it yeah it kind of grows with you if you started watching it as a child in season one you know season seven you're... when they're all in college yeah you're like probably i don't know you probably the show progressed a lot faster than real time does so seven seasons what's that maybe seven years so you'd be 15 while they're 18 in the show so it kind of kind of evens out you kind of see from a child's point of view all the way up to an adult's point of view and it kind of grows with you mm. which i think is great while hey arnold they were kids throughout the entire series uh, i do remember one of my favorite things in hey arnold is uh when he has the bus pass and it says name arnold born yes <laughs> it's pretty good but he doesn't any older. to be fair though one of my favorite things in boy meets world is like season one the dad and, and Corey are going to see the the blue angels the airplanes mm -hmm. and his little sister comes in and she's like i want to see the angels and Corey's like you know she can't sit still she's gonna ruin it she can't sit still and the dad looks down and is like and she's gone and she's just <laughs> she's out, like in that matter of like five seconds she's Come and gone. And I thought that was like just perfect timing the way they filmed that. It was great comedic timing. Yeah, because it was, you know, she can't sit still, and the dad's like, Corey, she can come. And she's and gone. She's gone. <laughs> and she's like, well, well, she can't sit still. Hmm. Like, there's so much good about both of them, and it's hard to decide one or the other, but if I'm. I'm going to go Boy Meets World. It's a fair choice. Jamie? I'm bummed I wasn't here for Nick because I liked a lot of the shows on there. I mean, I would probably would have picked Hey Arnold. It would have been your one to make it through? Yeah, I like Hey Arnold a lot. I thought it was a really good show. Uh, we said before, Hey Arnold had uh, recently had that tie-up movie at the end of the series where they actually, you know... Yeah, I remember they tell that. You, they tell you, yeah. they finally figure out what happens to his parents. Mm -hmm. They don't just disappear on a... Plane. Voyage or whatever. So, like, I, I haven't seen that. I like the relationships in it. I thought the, the complexity of a lot of the relationships was really good. With that uh, that creepy... With the creepy girl the creepy and the girl. friendship between him and his buddy... Oh, Gerald. Gerald, yes. I think his name is Gerald. And there's, yep. there's Pigeon Man. On Pigeon the yes. Man's are great. St stoop Kid. He's afraid to leave a stoop. He is afraid to leave a stoop. I'm not afraid to take a poop. <laughs> He's afraid to take a poop. <laughs> I like how you right. how you quietly whispered. Corey, what you said? Please, 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 please. Like, uh, take a poop. Where did he poop? Did he have a bucket on the stoop? I don't know. That's no, what I want to know. Well, no, he was afraid to leave his stoop, but he lived there, so he would go in and go to the bathroom. But they would show him at like the middle of the night sitting there insulting there. people in the middle of the night sitting <laughs> on the stoop. Get away from my stoop! <laughs> 
Jamie? Now I'm going with Hey Arnold. So yeah. we got one for yeah. Hey Arnold, one for Boy Meets World. I'm also a Hey Arnold. I feel like it's just, even though I love both of them, it's just like more comforting to me to watch. <laughs> that you could like sit down and watch yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So this puts me on a bad spot because I enjoy <laughs> both of them. And, uh, we know you do. If I had to pick, uh, honestly, I'd probably go with Boy Meets World. I've been watching it again and reliving it and re-enjoying it. And well, re- you better call your friend. Yeah. Re- <laughs> the one that said he's going to break our ties. All right, you want me to get call him. him again? Yeah. You better get him a call. Now that it's 11.15, I feel like we should call somebody who approved it. <laughs> you should call your mom. Oh, she's asleep. <laughs> And she would pick Hey Arnold, I feel like. <laughs> so I should call her. My stomach's crying. <laughs> yeah, Hello? Know? It looks like it connected. It's Facebook. It's not perfect. <laughs> it sucks. If you have a Ouija board, we can call my mom. Hey, hey. <laughs> Couldn't hear you for a minute. Can you hear us? Okay, so uh, we got another tiebreaker. Okay. This one's a little weirder. This is a uh, Hey Arnold versus Boy Meets World. Oh. Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta go with Hey Arnold because I'm more of a Nick kid. So. Uh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, so yep. you heard the tiebreaker. It's Hey Arnold. Yeah. Hey Arnold goes on to the finals to become the best millennial kids show. I'm not mad at it. I love Hey Arnold. I'm not mad, but it's hard to it's hard to put anything. It's next to, to Doug for me. I really loved Doug. Yeah, Doug's great. Doug it, even though it got bought out by Disney later on. Yeah, yeah, it did. It's okay. And they yeah. changed like all the characters. <laughs> <laughs> like they they gave like even the animation style changed. Yeah, they, yeah they, they they gave Patty Manny's like they went from what oh, the, she, the had suit, like she had a haircut. pixie cut. She went from like the I don't know how how to explain it. Her hair was wavy. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know? it was like curled. Up. Yeah, and then, and then was, she went to this this weird little pixie cut, and then like it's because they were all in high school at that point, I believe. And then there was a Doug movie. movie where there was a monster yeah. I and. The Doug movie. Uh, Roger Klotz was green and had red hair and s- somehow, like, stopped being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Doug did not make it to the finals, but what did is Ed and Nettie versus Batman the Animated Series. Jamie? This is hard. This is hard because these are, again, two of my favorite shows. I think I'm going to go with Ed, Ed, and Eddie, though. Yeah? I, I think I am because Plank... And like that because plank, plank. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> because of just just but, not, the, for no the, other reason. The trailer plank. park sisters were what another one well, that the I did. Sisters. Yeah, the sisters. Yeah, sisters. I enjoyed them. Okay. Also, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I just watched that way more than yeah, Batman. Same. Even but, though I'm a Batman fan, but that is true. Mm. Jake. I will say. One of my favorite episodes of Ed and like one of my favorite is like the last episode when they leave the cul de sac to find Eddie's brother in that in that whale trailer park because he works at a circus. See, I don't even remember that. Oh, you need to rewatch it. Like yeah. they actually meet his brother, and it like it turns out that Eddie has just been hyping his brother up all these years. And it turns out his brother is nothing but a bully and an asshole who picks on Eddie. To the point to where all the other kids are like... They're, they're, they chase them. All the other kids, Kevin, uh, Naz, they're all chasing them because of something they did. I don't remember what it is, but right. they just had enough of the Ed shit. They and, chased him out of town? And they chased him out of town all the way to uh, Eddie's brother's house. And, it, you know, Eddie's brother's picking on Eddie... And all the other kids are like, knock it off, man. Quit being an asshole. And he's just, because he's, you know, screwing with Eddie so bad much. All the other kids are, like, sympathetic. Hmm. And they all just go and... Oh, that beat. brings in this complex, yes. like, abuse thing. Yes, it does. Yeah. And it just... It's super it, deep. It gets to the point to where, like, they all are just like, no, fuck you. And they all beat up Eddie's brother. <laughs> and Eddie's on the ground crying. I this. 
And, you know, he's like, I don't know when I'm going to learn my lesson. My brother's an asshole. And Ed, Double D's like, I think you just did learn your lesson. And it's it's a really... That was really deep. Too. It was a really like, good ending to the it. show. And then they beat him to death with Plank. Yeah. Well, no, Plank. Plank no, no. He, uh, that's Jimmy, isn't it? Who yeah, has Jimmy. Plank? Jimmy comes in as Watermelon Man with Plank and tries to beat the shit out of Eddie. And he finds his courage because he's always been like a super anxious kid. And yeah. that's why he has Plank. Because yeah. he has like mental issues, yeah. right? And, and he comes in and saves Eddie no, from... No, 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 he comes in to try to beat up Eddie. Because, oh, okay. but Because he, he doesn't know the whole thing that happened with his brother. Oh, yeah. And they're all like... Down yeah, and they're all like, fuck you, man. And then all the other kids in the call just said, beat the shit out of Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> And he's, and he's all confused and shit. <laughs> and they're like, come on, Ed. And then they hoist him up and, like, take, you know, Ed, 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 Ed. You know, they're, it, it's, like, the best ending to the show that you could have, have ever wanted. This. Yeah, it's such a good... You could you can literally just Google that episode and probably watch it. It's such a good... I'm going to go edit Eddie. I don't, I don't know if you knew that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it doesn't really matter what I say. I love both of them. I probably would also go with Ed, Ed and Eddie just because... I probably have watched it more, like you were saying, more than Batman, even though fucking Batman's so good. It is. It's a great it's show. So good. It's so good. Okay, so Batman, the animated series, is eliminated, and we have our final two. It is down to Nickelodeon's Hey Arnold versus Cartoon Network's Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Jake. That's... That's so hard. <laughs> because Hey Arnold gives you really good life lessons, the only good life lesson in Ed, Ed, and Eddie is the very ending. Yeah. Um, so, but Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, it's super fucking silly, and I love it, and it's dumb, and sometimes you just need dumb humor in your life. Right. Shut your brain off Shut, and yeah, enjoy Yeah, just Ed enjoy and stupidity. Um, shit. Honestly, I'm going to go Eddie and Eddie. I, I love Hey Arnold. I adore Hey Arnold. But I watched Ed and Eddie more. Jamie? Ah, this is hard. This one so is So i got to talk hard. this out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Ed, Ed and Eddie did have some complex, complexity to it that I liked. It showed um, the different experiences each kid has and that they all came together in the cul-de-sac. Like... You had your middle class family. The one Ed was lived in poverty. You know, you had your um, immigrant. You had the trailer park kids. You, you had people who were mentally ill. People who were clearly, uh, you know, uh, meant to be on the spectrum. Uh, there was a lot to it that I did like. And they also had the sibling thing because Ed had so, his little yeah, sister. All the different types of sibling relationships because um, there were but a couple no adults. in there. No? no, the adults weren't meant to be there. There's a there's a creepy pasta with that where they think the cul de sac is actually purgatory and all the kids oh. are dead. Yeah, I, I think I remember hearing about that. So I... like Eddie, the reason why Eddie's so like about money is because he, he when he died it was in the Great Depression, Interesting. and then they say when Ed died it was he died when like comic books were like at the height of their thing or like Jimmy. Uh, the the one with the braces, mm -hmm. he died of cancer. That's why he's so pale. You know, so uh, interesting. Yeah, and Rolf died in the early 1900s because he was he was an immigrant. He was an immigrant worker. You know, like a lot of stuff like that. So I think that's reading really deep into. Yeah, that. I know. Like, <laughs> like, like we're like, going really far like I, into conspiracy I, yeah. theories. Um, but I do think that. There it's a was, neat concept, though. They used imagery instead of straight up like valuable lessons that the mm -hmm. characters are learning. It's, mm -hmm. it's just all imagery. Um, I think I did watch Ed, Ed and Eddie a lot more than I watched Hey Arnold. I I loved Hey Arnold, and I liked all those relationships. Like I said before, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with Ed, Ed and Eddie because of that. I think. That's two for Ed, Ed and Eddie. I mean, Hey Arnold did have that creepy bubblegum shrine in yeah, Helga shrine. Bataki's yeah. closet. And yeah. forever in my mind, I can picture them dressed as 
One was a strawberry, one was a banana. Yeah! And he had his banana shoes, and he's walking around in his banana shoes. I liked it. I just didn't watch it as much as I did watch it. Wasn't, wasn't the hat that he wore his hat when he was a baby? Yeah. 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 Kate? Well, I was constantly watching Hey Arnold, so I have to pick Hey Arnold. It's <laughs> fair. Yeah. Uh, I loved and watched both of them extensively. And I think, I feel like Ed and Eddie is like a underdog. Like, I think most people looking at this list would not think Ed and Eddie would make would it this far. But I think I have to go with Ed and Eddie. I love Hey Arnold. I'm going to watch it again. I have the whole series. Yeah, I was started watching it. And uh, I, but hey, Ed and Eddie. I, I love Ed and Eddie. You're going to have to rewatch that last episode. Yeah, I have to. I want to rewatch yeah, the whole to. series. Because clearly I have holes in my memory. You're right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even remember that at all. So there you have it. According to us, according to the Best Pals podcast, we have decided that Ed, Ed, and Eddie is the best millennial kids show. Now keep in mind, if these brackets were laid out differently, things could have ended up completely different. If Jamie was here the entire time, things, things could have ended up differently. Um, but yeah, Ed, Ed, and Eddie for us is the best millennial kids show. Uh, leave a comment, let us know what you think should have won, because, like I said, I think Ed and Eddie is kind of an underdog, and it, they're seated, let's see. Oh, it's, well, it was number three in Cartoon Network, seated number three. So maybe not so much of an underdog. Yeah. Um, but if you enjoyed this, uh, let me know in the comments. We could do more of these. I wouldn't mind doing, like, horror movie monster That would bracket. be a good one for Adam. Yeah, for yeah. Adam. he would have a lot or of. We opinions. could do uh, we could do one with like '80s shows, like '80s cartoons or '80s live action shows. Yeah, uh, even... I still I would like to see original uh, movie content from many of these channels. Oh, you know, like the Disney. movies, yeah. the original movies, channel, yeah. original yeah, original movies. We could do the Disney Channel Nick, original Nick movies. Nick had some, Disney had some. I'm not sure about Cartoon Network. I don't think. I don't think they did. Uh, they did, but they were part of their like they did a Ben Ten movie. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it was part of their original yeah. thing, but it wasn't just a standalone thing. Yeah. It was part of their whatever. We but could probably do different um, time periods of Disney Channel original content. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool, too. Like, Maybe even tens. just a whole bracket of Disney Channel original movies and figure out which would win. Right. Probably Halloween Town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I'd, I'd like to do one where we do uh, good, bad movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Surf ninjas. Surf ninjas. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. Surf ninjas. Uh, some might argue Shark Bill and Boy. Ted. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah. It was pretty I, awful. It was very awful. Uh, we could do uh, what's the one I, I was looking? Oh yeah, all like uh, Double Dragons and uh, the live action Mario Brothers. Oh, just and the shitty game. Movies. I loved live action Mario my, my, Brothers. It's such a good like it's such a good movie. I it love was it so much. So weird. I love it so much. Like it's it's the same with like the Double Dragons movie. It's it's super weird and super like futuristic like punk. Yeah. So like it's just it's a good bad movie. Right. Because they're bad movies, but they're good bad movies. So we have a lot of options of what we could do next. Uh, let us know in the comments what you want to see. I'm gonna hit Google and find some more of these brackets, and we'll set up and do another one of these soon. Oh yeah. But uh, thanks for watching. I've been Ben Ritchie. I may be Jacob Schultz. I'm Jamie. I'm Kate. <laughs> and uh, if we do another one of these, maybe it'll be the same four people. Maybe more, maybe less, maybe different people. I don't know. But thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. It depends how many friends you have. Love, peace, and chicken grease. I have Adam. <laughs> He's like, all I need is Adam's penis. No.